What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so... Like I said in the last episode, yes, we will be uh, showcasing two gym battles, or the two different gym battles of both Sword and Shield. And I decided that, you know what, I might as well just show it right here in this episode. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, video editing and all that stuff, but... It is what it is, guys, and as you can see, got new threads looking like a champ right here. You're going to be seeing the actual difference between my sword counterpart with my shield counterpart, because trust me, guys, I got everything covered right here. Uh, one thing is for sure, I will be having two different kinds of teams in both versions, just to showcase, uh, you know, many Pokemon that you can actually use right here. Uh, and that brings me to this point right here. So... After doing a lot of adventuring and a lot of capturing of all these big old Pokemon, these uh, Dynamax Pokemon and all that stuff, I decided that, hey, I got to balance out my team just a little bit more for both versions right here. So, this is my sword, shield, uh, my sword team for right now. So, let's go right here. And as you can see, our good old buddy Optimus Prime is at the lead right here, starter Pokemon. We got Quackor, you know, Quackor the Foul. And then uh, our new entry right here, Baconator in... Uh, let's see, I can't, I can't remember his name right here. Baconator the Sizzlipede. Yeah, buddy, look at this guy. Now, I actually caught this guy uh, during a Dynamax raid, I think. Yes, I did capture this guy in a Dynamax raid. No, I didn't. I just captured him somewhere. Oh, you know what? I caught him in the last gym. I think that's what happened, yeah. So, this guy is both a fire and bug type. The reason I called him Baconator is because, look at this, it looks like a piece of bacon, but really, it's just a <laughs> it's just a centipede that can just blow your, uh, your brains out and stuff. And then, uh, well, it's at a good level, has the flash fire ability, powers up fire, uh, fire type moves if it gets hit by one. And it does have some pretty good moves right here, too. Now, the stats right here is a little bit... Uh, a little bit off because it is more more of a physical def uh, physical attacker than anything. Now the next Pokemon right here that I've actually traded in is Michelangelo for Krakatoa. Now I have traded Krakatoa to my Sword version just because of this because I need to balance out my team. Michelangelo actually gives me a better chance in this version to actually you know go up against other trainers right here. Now if you guys remember, Michelangelo is both a Water and Rock type Pokemon. I actually caught him in the very, very beginning right there. And then our good old buddy Blitzkrieg. Now, you guys are going to be surprised. I do have a Blitzkrieg in my sword or my shield version. And uh, I made it a point to, eh, you know, have different kinds of Blitzkriegs right here. You guys will see. And if you guys remember, I got myself Dumbledore. Now, what kind of an episode would this be without an evolution? So, let's go right ahead and use up a few... Uh, rare candies right here so let's go right ahead and uh, you know what let's actually actually that's the wrong one let's go ahead and sort these out or just use this so Baconor, Baconator actually evolves at level 32 I believe so here we go we used up a rare candy and it wants to learn fire spin I do not think I want to use that right now hold on flame wheel yeah don't want to teach it flame uh, uh, fire spin right now so there it is Baconator has grown to level 35 and just like that, in the very first episode, Baconator is evolving. Look at this guy. Oh, it's extending. It's becoming a bigger Baconator. Look at this guy. Sent to Scorch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Am I going to do some damage in this one right here? So, as you can see, we got Sent to Scorch, the Fire and Bug type Pokemon. It is 9 feet, 10 inches, 264 pounds of pure unadulterated flames and all that stuff. I don't even know what to say. When it heats up, its body temperature reaches about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. It lashes its body like a whip and launches itself at its enemies. That is scary right there. Now, the next Pokemon that I need to give a rare candy to is Blitzkrieg. So let's go ahead and give one little rare candy right here to our Blitzkrieg and, well, Digivolution activate. Look at this guy. So Blitzkrieg is finally evolving, and well, if you guys don't know, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can actually get two forms of toxic, uh, toxicity, toxic, toxicity. Can't even pronounce it right. If you guys can see, this is Toxicity's amp form. I guess it's more of like you know, 
a fun version or something like that. More metal, I think. Punk or something. So as you can see, Toxtricity, the punk Pokemon. Electric and poison type, 5 feet, 3 inches, 88 pounds of pure electricity. And here we have its amp form. When, it, when this Pokemon sounds as if it's strumming a guitar, it is usually clawing at its uh, protrusors on its chest to generate electricity. That is crazy right there. So after evolving, it is learning Spark. So let's see if I can actually move a, or take a move out of the way. Yes. So I'm gonna take, gonna have to take Nuzzle away because, uh, yeah, don't really need it. Look at this guy. He's just looking at you. He's like, "What's up? Got a Mohawk." Okay. Alrighty. So that makes two evolutions. Might as well go in and uh, start our battle now. As you, as I, I said before, guys, this is Sword versions of uh, Swords versions of a. Uh, of uh, the gym battle right here in Stow Inside. Now, if you are playing Sword and Chi or Sword uh, version, you will be facing the fighting type gym leader. Hold on just a sec. I need to know her name. Her name is B. So let's go right ahead and uh, take on this Queen B right here. And don't forget to talk to the Pokeball guy because, yes, he's looking, uh, he's talking about something heavy. So he's actually going to give us a heavy ball right here, which, you know, uh, many of you guys already know. Heavy Ball actually captures heavy Pokemon, such as, you know, Snorlax and all that stuff. Heavy Ball Rock and Roll at catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, eh? If you're a big fan, or if you're a fan of uh, big, heavy Pokemon, and then this is the Pokeball for you. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? I think. Probably. I don't even know. Alright, let's continue this whole thing right here. You're a gym challenger, right? Are you going to apply to the gym challenge? Yes, I am. Hmm. Then into the changing room and change into your uniform. Then go to the gym mission room. Alrighty. So, let's get this going. We're going to get dressed up nice. And look at that. We're looking like big pimpin' right here. Yes. Go number six. Alrighty. Come on. Bring me in, man. Bring me in. Alright, we're walking. I'm not even using any of these buttons right here. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> this is uh wow this is unique wow this is like a pinball game i think holy bejeebus okay so let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here he's gonna be like allow me to explain the gym mission for stow inside's gym to complete the mission you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way uh, to the goal while trying to avoid the obstacles let me let me tell you a bit of a, how we operate a fun attraction rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to right. Rotate it to the left and you'll, the cup will spin to the left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of the sticky situation. Now, have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Okay. Then on you spin, good luck. Okay, so I guess this is what we're going to be doing right now. So let's go right ahead and uh, start spinning. Now, I, I'm not a big fan of spinning, you know, Spinning things. So as you can see, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. I think it's the left side you can actually spin it towards. Okay, so let's go right here. There we go. Get to the goal, get to the goal. Oh, damn. Man, whose idea was it to actually use this? Okay, so that's a finish. Alrighty. And we get our first Pokemon trainer. You look dizzy. Are you sure you can battle in this in that condition? Yes, I can. Alrighty, so our first challenge is Gym Trainer Ian. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Stuffle right here. Now, remember, this is a Fighting-type gym, so make sure to have those Flying-type or Psychic-type Pokemon because, yeah. Or for this guy right here, let's go right ahead and use a Body Press. Now, off-screen, I have been doing a lot of training with my Pokemon, a lot of capturing. Not only that, but, you know, teaching them TRs, TMs, and all that crud just to make them a little stronger. I think my first run through to this game, or through Shield, I never really actually used any of my uh, my Pokemon or any my, any of my TRs because, well, what's the point? And uh, well, he's coming out with the Beware, so I'm gonna be coming out with Quackor the Foul right here. Let's go, Quackor! <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. I, I'm I'm very prideful of this Pokemon right here because finally we got ourselves a Surfetch, a very very popular Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and use a Rock Smash. This guy, beware, still a normal type Pokemon, and well, he's going to be coming out with a takedown attack right here. Not so effective, but it takes a, a huge chunk out of this guy's HP right here. So let's go right ahead and do it one more time. 
Hopefully this one will actually beat this guy. And wow. <laughs> he stayed with one HP. Holy crud. Okay, and then uh, how do you do bind if you're a teddy bear? I just want to know that. I really do. Okay, so uh, crud. Oh, uh, crud. Here we go. We're getting binded with. Okay, finish him off. Rock smash attack right here. And away we go. Say goodbye to beware. Yes, how does it feel to fail to a to a quack or a guy with a you know an onion, basically an onion for a shield. And look at that. We defeated the gym trainer. I'm dizzy. No, I'm completely dazzled. What an incredible battle. No, he, he's very happy. He's very, very, very happy right there. Okay. Alright, so let's go right ahead and go into the next piece of this puzzle right here. And uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon first now. Let's see, I did not use up all my super potions, so that's a pretty good uh, indication that, you know, we, we've actually been doing something good off screen. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Now, I, I've been wanting to use Vacinator for quite some time. What a better episode to use them right here. Okay, so here we go with the next one, and this one right here, holy crud. Okay, so there we go, just like a pinball machine, and we got to turn to the left or right. There we go. There we go. Come on, turn, 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 turn. There we go. I guess we got to turn. We got to turn. We got to turn. There we go. I guess we got to turn to the left right here. Look at that. And goal. Okay. Whew. Okay, so let's see. We got another trainer. Just bring her on. I think there's like three puzzles to this whole thing right here. Possibly. So here we go. Another gym uh, battle right here against gym trainer Claire, and she is going to be coming out with her Farfetch'd. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this Galarian Farfetch'd is still a fighting type Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and uh, crab bat. Okay, okay, here we go. Venoshock. This Pokemon can learn at least three, di uh, three different types of moves, and there we go. And here comes a brutal swing, and the way this guy does it, it's just like you know it's brutal right there. So here we go, flame wheel attack. And here comes a detect. This Farfetch is just looking mean, mean, just very mean. Baconator can't do anything right now. So let's go right ahead and use another flame wheel. And here comes the flame wheel. Look at that. Flame wheel does the trick. Say goodbye to Farfetch. Alrighty, okay. And then uh, Pokemon are growing level. That's good. Michelangelo grows to level 35. And yes. She ain't too happy. What a formidable battle style. I can feel a good sense of balance coming from you. Well, that's what I try to do with my team right there, so. Hopefully it's balanced. I mean, that's the reason why I switched Krakatoa to the uh, to the Shield team. Or, yeah, the Shield team, because it needed a Fire-type Pokemon. You guys will see why I needed a Fire-type Pokemon in that game. It's obvious to say that I actually, I actually used the, the Water Starter. Okay, so that right there did not work. So I guess we're going to have to go right here. Okay, so that right there is going to be... We're going to have to turn left then. Come on, turn left, turn left. Uh-oh. There we go, turning left, turning left, turning left. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, there we go. And bam, bam, bam. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow, that, that right there was uh, kind of funny right there. Okay, so... The next trainer is probably the final trainer right here, so let's go right ahead and now use Dumbledore, since it is a psychic type Pokemon. Now, the goal, I want to say that the goal for this walkthrough, now that I've, you know, pretty much have both uh, both games, is to actually focus on the Pokemon from Galar. I found that the Galar Pokemon right here, very, like, well, I found them very interesting, and I, I really, really wanted to use most of them and well you can only get so many you know like you, you only have six slots so six Pokemon are gonna be worthy enough for your your training luckily we do have Pokemon shield so good god yeah that ain't gonna work so Dumbledore needs to be switched out let's go right ahead and go to Optimus Prime right here like I was saying that is pretty much the whole premise right there for both games right here guys uh, Show as many native Pokemon as possible. I haven't been doing that in the last few walkthroughs, mainly because, you know, I'm already used to a, I'm already used to a set team when I start playing them. Now, if you guys remember in Pokemon X, 
I've already, uh, I've already chosen the team. I literally chose the team before I even played the walkthrough. And I know that a lot of you guys didn't really like it. And here we have an up or attack. Let's see if we can actually, uh, hold on. This one right here. Okay, let's go ahead and switch it out for knockoff for just a, the time being. I know that many of you guys, well, some of you guys had a complaint about that. That why didn't you let us choose the starter for your X team? Well, like I said, I really, really, really wanted to go with a, you know, a six, six uh, region Pokemon right there. And with this one right here in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, it gives me the ability to bring back a lot of the members from my former teams. But not only that, use two different types of teams. Now that, well, I, I'm enabled to actually play both games here. And well, let's see. This is going to be a tough battle right here because, uh, <laughs> yeah, Blitzkrieg is not fast yet. How in the hell are you named Blitzkrieg and you're not fast? That's basically what it means. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So here comes another mock punch. That takes priority always. So here we go. Spark attack. And, well, let's try one more time. And here comes another mock punch. Okay, Blitzkrieg. Finish him. And that is the way the cookie crumbles. No more Hitmonchan. I am feeling great. And, of course, Blitzkrieg grows to level 31. Simon has been defeated. Okay. Thank you for reminding me of what was it like to be a gym challenger. Hmm. I guess... I, I guess that's a good thing right there. So, after we defeat this guy, we are enabled to actually battle the gym trainer here for Stow Inside in shield version. And, well, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon first because it's going to be uh, some kind of a battle right here. All right. So, let's see. Uh, you know, I'm going to start off with Dumbledore just for the sheer, fan, uh, the sheer fun of it. All righty. Let's go. Take that climb up the stairs. And here we go. Going into the big old door of miracles. Yes. Goal. The gym mission has been cleared. Okay. All righty. Going in there. The symbol has been shown. Alrighty, pimp walk. That's right. Lean back, lean back, and here we are to our people. Yes, our people, because uh, oh wow, yeah, we're about to whoop that ass. But she's looking fine, and she's bowing to us. Holy crap! Okay, I'm bowing to Taekwondo background and all that stuff. Welcome, Jim Challenger. I'm B. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved, no matter how uh, you are attacked? I think I'll, let, I'll test that out. Shall I? You can test out anything. Okay, so here we go. And uh, may I say, the Geller women here are just fantastic. And here she is ready to kick some butt. All righty. So here we go, guys. Gym battle number, what, four? Against Gym Leader B in shield or sword, sword version. I can't even say anything right because I'm just looking at her. Holy crap. Okay, so here she comes out with a hit on top. Alrighty, communicator ready. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's go with the side beam attack. And here goes side beam. Nearly takes out. Well, it doesn't really near to take out hit on top. But here comes a revenge attack. Crap baskets. Here we go again with another revenge. Crap baskets. All right, so we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go to. Yeah, we gotta go to Optimus Prime. There's no other way on that. All right, Dumbledore, come back. We got to train you a little bit more. Okay. So Optimus Prime right here is about to take a, a hit from our good old buddy him on top. That is uh, not so effective. But guess what? Optimus Prime right here. Drum beat. Let's get this. Let's go. Drum beating, drum beating, drum beating. And that's right. Say goodbye to him on top. Okay, all righty. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And here she's going to be coming out with a Panguru. So, let's go right ahead and go straight to Quackor the Foul. Panguru fighting in Dark-type Pokemon. So, there's a disadvantage right there. It's itself. So, let's go with Quackor the Foul right here. That's right. You're about to get beat by a guy who has a sword or an onion for a sword. Okay. I'm looking at you, big old panda guy. The mold breaker is open. Let's get this. Rock Smash. Yeah, buddy. Rock Smash. Not so powerful, but it takes half its HP, I would like to say. It lowers its defense. And here comes a workup attack. It's turning Super Saiyan or probably going KO Ken right here. This is increasing its attack and its special attack. So now we got one more attack right here, hopefully. 
with a rock smash attack. Say goodbye to Pangoro. Yeah, buddy. What now? How's it feel to fail? Alrighty, so she's gonna be coming out with a Surfish. As much as I would like to have the Battle of the Surfish, I know for a fact that my Quackor is not up to par, so let's go right ahead and switch him out. Let's go with, mm, yeah, let's go with a Baconator right here. All right, Surfish, come back. She's coming out with her Surfish. All right, Baconator, let's do this. Now, I thought of this nickname, too, when I was eating a Baconator. Yeah, I cheat day and all that stuff, guys, but hey, do you blame me? Do you friggin' blame me? Now, this is not her, uh, this is not her uh, final Pokemon right here, but we're going to be trying to poison this Pokemon right here. And he, he comes out with a Detect attack, and, uh, well, it's protected. So nothing happens to this guy right here. So let's go right ahead, finish this guy off with the Venoshock. Not going to finish him off, but hopefully pin, pun, or poison him. And it is not poison, but here comes a Revenge attack. And uh, crap, baskets. I hate that Revenge attack. Okay. Let's do it again. Venoshock. For the win, I think. And it does not poison this guy. Okay, here comes a Swords Dance. So now, this gives this uh, Pokemon a little bit more of a boost on its attack right here, or its physical attack. And we all know Surfish is a very, very good uh, physical attacker right here. So here comes a Detect. Good gravy. Okay, girl. You will not let me hit you. Okay. Let's go right ahead and do it again. Flame Wheel. Let's get it. Come on, Baconator. Baconator. Oh, yeah, and nearly finishes this guy. Here comes a brutal swing, and Baconator survives. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Finish him. Survival of the finish. Or fi <laughs> <not> finish. <laughs> Fittest. Oh, my God. And look at that. Three Pokemon grow levels. Dumbledore grows to level 32, and Quackor as well. All right, B is about to come out with Machamp. Now, Machamp is a bit of a Pokemon to actually take on. So let's go right ahead and take out Optimus Prime. Let's go. Alrighty. Come on, Optimus Prime. Let's do this. And here she's going to be coming out with her good Pokemon. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Alrighty. And look, she's still in her stance. That's what I love about her. She's just like ready to fight. Okay. It's time. Let's go. Maximum growth or overgrowth? I don't know. But you know for a fact that we're going to be doing a Dynamax battle right here. So let's get this Dynamax right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Here we have Dynamax Pangor, or not Pangor, but Dynamax Optimus Prime. Now, some of my HP has been taken away. It's a bit of a risk, but here she comes. <laughs> Let's destroy everything. Your skill's worthy for Gigantic Max. Okay, so here she comes with her next... Or her, oh, God. Oh, crap. I can't even speak right now. This is fun. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He just... Oh, God. Okay, now that's scary right there. Oh, man. I like his form. His form is fucking awesome, but here comes the maximum or the max overgrowth and this nearly takes out our, our the Machamp right here and changes the field just a little bit okay alrighty and well here comes a max darkness not going to be effective look at that okay so I don't know why you did that I really didn't know why you did that but my special defense has gone down but I'm getting healed because of this max overgrowth so is Machamp. So we got to finish this guy real quick right here. So let's get this for a max overgrowth just to finish this guy off. Here we go. Oh, yes. And here comes the Shroom's attack. Say goodbye to Machamp. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And there we have it, guys. More leveling up. Our Pokemon are getting levels. Yes. And it wants to learn Toxic. Okay, I will be teaching this Pokemon Toxic. Let's just take away this Flail attack. Okay. Alrighty, so things are going our way right now. Freaking awesome right here. And he returns back to his normal form right here. Look at this guy. Optimus Prime kicking butt, taking names, and defeating our girlfriend, B. Look at her. Look at the core on her. 
Damn, this girl must have... Oh, damn. I need to get on her workout regimen. I felt like fighting spirit of your Pokemon as led them in battle. Did not read that correctly, but yeah, what it is. It is what it is, guys. And just like that, another Pokemon evolves into this episode, and that is Dumbledore. Oh, yes, it's been a while. Not really, but here it is, guys. The next evolution of Dumbledore. Say hello to Hatrim. Still a, a Psychic-type Pokemon, but still a very, very good Psychic-type Pokemon right here. Look at this. Looky, looky, looky. Hatrim. These Psychic Pokemon are serene Pokemon. No matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. Holy crud. Okay, so that means that, you know, if you're, like, going through those weird times, you're being emotional, or you're even if you're bipolar, then <laughs> stay away from this guy right here. Okay, so that is that, and well, Hatrim's learning a new move, and that is Brutal Swing. I guess it can learn it. Now, Brutal Swing is a physical attack. This Pokemon is not a physical attacker. Eh, I should probably take away Heal Pulse. Eventually, you know, I'll take away uh, Brutal Swing with like a Dark Pulse or something. I don't know. Dark Pulse, a physical attack? Do not know. Okay. Man. She's bound to us, saying, Thank you for the battle. Whew. Facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team? I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's a good unshakable in a face of battle, but it's good to be moved by the battle as well. Thank you again. Take this fighting badge. Alrighty, guys. So here it is, guys. We got ourselves our fourth badge in shield ver or in sword version. <laughs> Can't stop saying shield, but there it is, guys, the fighting badge. And now we can capture Pokemon up to level 40. I hope that you meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Man, she looks fantastic. Again, I got to get on that uh, workout regimen because that core is looking fantastic. Okay, so after that, we get ourselves the TM42 Revenge. Same move that they used on us plenty of times. And of course, this is this attack moves power is double if the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn. Very powerful move. And yes, we get ourselves a uniform, a fighting uniform. And of course, we get a fighting badge. Okay, so that was Sword Version's uh, battle of the or gym battle. Or let me explain that again. This is Sword uh, Swords uh, Sword Version's version of the fourth gym battle. Now we're going to be going into shield version, and you guys are going to be amazed with the type of Pokemon I have. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are in shield version, and as you can see, uh, I don't look much different from the last few episodes in sword version. That is because, you know, of course, kind of want to look the part for shield version. Now, as you can see, Snow Inside's gym right here in shield version is a ghost type gym. So, we are actually prepared for all this stuff. Now, I said in the beginning of this episode... I did trade a few Pokemon to the Shield version just to balance it out just a little bit more. So let's go right ahead and take a look at our Team 4 Shield version. As you can as you guys can see, we have Krakatoa right here. Yep, looking all mean and rock typey and looking like a big old volcano. But our starter Pokemon right here is Deadshot. The uh, well, let me see what the name is. I can't remember the name. <laughs> the Inteleon. So. Why didn't I choose the fire type starter? Well, uh, for many of you guys who don't know, I actually bred a, uh, well, a score bunny, I think. I bred a score bunny, and I, I have them in both versions. Do not worry, I will be showcasing them too. But I think it was best for us to use both the grass and water type uh, gym, or the grass and water type uh, starters because, well, Sword and Shield's uh, most popular Pokemon is the fire type starter. So. Yeah, that that made my decision right there. And yes, we called it Deadshot because, of course, it's supposed to be the sniper Pokemon. So might as well name him Deadshot right there. Now, the next Pokemon right here is Blitzkrieg. Now, there's going to be something different about this Pokemon once we evolve it. But then we go on to the next Pokemon right here, Beelzemon. Or, as many of you guys already know him, Impidimp. Now, Impidimp right here is a Dark and Fairy type Pokemon. I actually thought you could only capture him in Shield version, but I was wrong. You can actually capture him in both. The reason why I named him Beelzemon is in inspiration to Impmon's Digivolution in Digimon, uh, Digi, Digimon uh, Tamers, I think. Digitamers, yes. Beelzemon's uh, character, everything, especially towards the end, fantastic. 
that's what inspired me to name this Pokemon Bialzimon right here. Now, the next Pokemon on our list is uh, Mr. Mime, the Galarian type, or the Galarian uh, version of it. We named him Marcel. We're just going to keep that tradition going from uh, the Kanto version all the way right here to the Galarian version. Now, how did I catch this Pokemon? Very simple, guys. The giant, the Gigantic Max, Gigantamax, Dynamax uh, Pokemon over at the wild area and uh, yeah we happened to find this guy I think this guy was like a three-star Pokemon right here and it gains the typing of ice and psychic now when was the last time you guys have ever seen me use a uh, an ice type probably Nessie haven't used one since then and uh, well this Pokemon right here has a vital spirit keeps a full vitality prevents it from falling asleep and its types or its uh, its moves pretty fantastic so I'm exact I'm actually very very excited to use Marcel right here and then, of course, we traded Drago all the way to Shield version because we already have a fighting type Pokemon in Sword version. Might as well keep Drago right here in Shield version. So, now, let's go right ahead and start uh, some Digivolutions and all that stuff. Evolution, Digivolution. So, let's go right ahead and use a Rare Candy on Blitzkrieg. Now, Blitzkrieg does evolve at level 30. But there is going to be a difference with this Blitzkrieg. So, let's go right ahead and take a look. Blitzkrieg! Digivolution time. Alrighty. Okay, look at this. And look at that. A different version of Toxicity. Or Toxtricity. Toxtricity, that's how you pronounce it. Yes! So there you go, guys. Toxtricity. And uh, look at this guy right here. This is the low key version of Toxtricity. It's or uh, it it has an electrical organ on its chest. While generating electricity, it fills its surroundings with the with what sounds it's strumming from its bass or its bass guitar. So basically, this is like a bass bass player right here. So it is learning Spark. I am going to well do pretty much to do the same thing. I guess I don't even know. But now we have two kinds of toxicities: ant version and a low key version right here. Don't necessarily know the differences uh, in its stat-wise, but yeah, we'll, we'll eventually figure it out. Now, I think Bialzamon actually did uh, or evolves in this one right here, so let's go ahead and give it a rare candy just to see what happens. Yeah, buddy, level 32. Okay. And I was right. How many evolutions are we going to have in this one right here? I don't know. I think this counts as like five. Five evolutions in one episode, and look at that. <laughs> it becomes an emo imp. So here we have Morgrim. Wow. An emo imp. So here we have, guys, Morgrim, the devious Pokemon. Dark and fairy type. Two feet, seven inches. Weighs about 27 pounds. And, well, with sly cunning, it tries to lure people into the woods. Some believe it has the power to make crops grow. Get on, say. So it's finally learning a new move, and it's a called False Surrender. Now... I think this move is pretty yeah it's it never misses and it's a very very powerful one so huh, let's see let's see let's see uh, yeah this attacks first and then torment right here you know what let's go ahead and take away sucker punch don't really need it it's a it's the first two it's a first move kind of a move so really we really don't need it so there we go guys we have a nice team going for the shield version and uh, well it's time for us to get in there and start beating up on uh, the ghost type gym leader of Stow Inside. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see, <laughs> take a look at this. Same thing, different surroundings. It's just uh, <laughs> a little more spookier in here. Yeah, it's just a little more spookier. So, here we are in the uh, Stow Inside gym, ghost type gym. And, well, we already know the rules to this whole thing right here. We don't need this guy to explain it to us. All we need to do is just spin because we need to get to the next few trainers and all that stuff. But I know you guys are excited to see the new team, the shield team and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's get this started right here. So here we go. Like I said, I don't like spinny. I don't like spinny, uh, spinny rides or anything. But I'm pretty sure, like, if this was real life, I'd be super sick and everything. So... Let's go right ahead and do this. Come on. Come on. It should be easy. Come on. Get in there. Ow. Ow. It's a lot of, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of whiplash if you ask me. If you just, like, keep on playing this game, it just, it looks like a lot of whiplash. So, 
Let's go right ahead and take on the first challenger right here, and I'm pretty sure many of you guys are excited to see what these new Pokemon can do. So here we go. Gym Trainer Clive would like to battle, and, well, he is going to be coming out with his own Pumpkaboo. I believe Pumpkaboo is both a ghost and grass type Pokemon. Could be wrong. Probably. I don't even know. So let's go right ahead and use with the Sucker Punch right here. Since it is, uh, since we are faster than this guy, Sucker Punch should take it. Look at that. Punkaboo defeated. <laughs> well, look at that. Deadshot being the Pokemon that it should be. Deadshot. And Drago grows to level 35 right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see Beelzebon right here. So let's go ahead and switch it out. And say hello to Beelzebon, the emo imp Pokemon right here. And, well, we got ourselves a little ghost type Pokemon, but guess what? We got ourselves False Surrender. Let's just go ahead and play it right here. Look at this. He's playing, he's playing, and bam! Hits you. Kind of like a Sucker Punch. The real Sucker Punch right there. Yeah, this Pokemon is a keeper, and Krakatoa grows to level 39. And he's going to be coming out with another Pokeboo. So, let's go right ahead and use Krakatoa right here. So, it has been a while, not really, since last episode. Say hello to Krakatoa from Sword Version, and well, Pumpkaboo looking like a, a, a nice pumpkin and all that stuff, but let's go right ahead and use Incinerate just for o overkill. Oh yes, a lot of overkill right here. Oh yes, Pumpkaboo, no more. Okay, alrighty, and well, there we go, defeated Clive, and he doesn't seem very happy. Or, I don't even know, he doesn't seem very mad at all. And just like that, the sixth evolution, <laughs> and it took for us to get to freaking shield version to do this. So here it is, guys. After a lot of losing and a lot of ass whoopings, Drago finally evolves into the Pokemon I really, really like. Hakamo. Hakmo. 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 -o. Yes, the Alolan Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon. Hakmo. -o. The Dragon and Fighting type Pokemon, it is Scaly, the Scaly Pokemon. 3 foot 11, 103 pounds of pure muscle. Before attacking its enemies, it clashes its scales together and roars. Its sharp claws shred the opposition. Alrighty, so now, since it gains the, uh, well, since it gets gains the fighting uh, capabilities, look at this. Now we, now we have a pretty good team right here. Starting to like my shield version team a little bit better, <laughs> if you ask me. So here we have Hakmo'o. And, well, it has a soundproof uh, ability right here. Any soundproof base moves, not going to be working at all. And, well, it is a very physical Pokemon, but as you can see, it is a tank when it comes to defense and all that stuff, too. So, let's go right ahead and, let's see, I wonder if I could use a TR right here. Let's see, nah, Throat Chop, we could use Throat Chop. I didn't know. They didn't, they didn't even know that Throw Chop existed. And you know what? Dazzling Gleam can actually work for Beelzebub and Marcel right here. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to switch it up a little. And here we have a Wild Charge. Let's see. Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam is a Steel type move. Earth Power. Um, Aurora Sphere. Drago should know this. And then uh, Super Power. You know what? Sometimes I just don't get these kinds of moves or anything like that. And Reversal, of course, is a TR in this version. And, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do we have any other good moves? Like, brute? okay, low kick. Yeah, of course, Drago can learn that. Let's see. Powerful the kick makes the fall. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily work on the Pokemon that I want to use it on. All right, you know what? We're going to just skip that and just move on ahead right here because, uh, yeah, it's it's been a long video right here. So, here we go, going on to the next the next uh, place, and look at that. They changed the fist for claws right there, and come on. Come on. Damn it. Oh, man. Okay. Never mind. Come on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm moving to the right. All right, please, push me. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And there we go. Come on. Come on. All right. I'm spinning as fast as I can, I swear, guys. And this will actually take us right here. We don't even need to get to that big old claw right there. And yes, we finished. Okay. Uh, I would like to use I would like to use Drago in this, but 
Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's gonna work because, uh, yeah, some of these ghost type have psychic capabilities. So I'm just gonna be switching it out right here. And let's go right ahead and battle whoever this person is right here. So, here we have back and forth, back and forth. You're spinning back and forth, back and forth. Me too! Okay. That really didn't mean anything. But here we have Jim Trainer Lynn wanting to battle us. And here she comes out with a Corsola. This right here is a little bit different from most Corsolas that you've seen before. This is a Galarian Corsola right now. It is both a ghost and a water type, I believe. Yeah, you <laughs> you got to keep your eyes for this guy right here because eventually it evolves into a Corsola. Corsola and a Corsola. And here is its weak armor, which its defense will fall, but it will sharply raise up its speed right there. So now it's going to throw in a Hex attack and oh god, oh god. Emo Imp is not doing much, and well, let's go ahead and finish it off again with another False Surrender. Emo Imp, False Surrender, hits him with the Sharpie Hair. Look at that. Sharpie Hair or, I don't know, is it its tail? Or I don't even know. Alright, we defeated Lin. We're, feel we're feeling pretty good. You know, I like the way how all these Ghost-type Pokemon trainers are just like super mellow. Like, they really don't mind if you beat them or anything. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, the final puzzle to this whole thing right here, and come on. Now we gotta spin, spin as hard as we can, and... Oh, God! Okay. Okay, so my my deal is this, that I have to go to the left, and keep on spinning to the left. That way this guy right here can actually take us to the right, so spin as hard as we can. There we go, come on! Oh my god, this is going to be a trip right here. Now, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get a lot of whiplash just off of this. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, that's like Demolition Derby right there. Ghost type style. Okay, so we got the final trainer right here before we take on our last or our next gym leader. So, let's go right ahead and take Marcel for a little test drive right here. Like I said in the, uh, early on, I captured Marcel in a gigantic max or a wild Pokemon battle. A little raid. And this guy came out to be at level 35, and yeah, I've always wanted to use one of the Galarian-type Pokemon right here from the Kanto region. And this guy seemed to fit the bill. Look at this guy, he's got himself his mutton chops, and he's a dancing Pokemon. Now, it is a ghost, or it is a psychic and, uh, psychic and ice-type Pokemon, so that's a damn good combination. Look at this. <laughs> Pick the right Pokemon for this guy right here. Because, of course, Haunter is a Poison-type Pokemon. And look at that. Deadshot grows to another level, and as well as Marcel. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Drift Limb. So, let's go ahead and take our Blitzkrieg low-key version for a little test drive as well. So, here we go. Blitzkrieg. Looking uh, like a, the basis that he is. I'm definitely digging the whole uh, blue Mohawk, or not Frohawk. I don't even know what it is. So, here we go. Nuzzle Attack. And that one didn't really do much, but it, it, it did paralyze Drip Limb a little bit. So here comes a stockpile attack. Now, this will actually raise up its defense each time it stockpiles. So we're going to have to actually hit this guy hard. So let's go with a spark attack right here. Let's go. And not much. Oh, wow. So it's stockpiling again, and that maximizes its defense just a little bit more right there. So... Finish him off with a spark attack. Let's get it. Spark attack does its thing. Drift Blim for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Pokemon are growing levels. Many evolutions. That's six evolutions in this episode, guys. Holy crud. Alrighty, so we defeated the last trainer right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Now, I think, yeah, I got more. <laughs> I actually have more potions here. Then in, uh, in sword version because, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let us move on right here. Now, as you can see, I am the number 24 in this version. That's off my high school number right there. And bam. Goal. Gym mission cleared. And we're moving on like pimps. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're going into the stadium filled with our people. Yes, our people because... We're going to be the champion one day, and look at this, all in purple. And look at this guy. Holy crud. He is a scary mofo. Mm, Alistair. 
<laughs> Here I go. Okay. Yeah, he's very creepy. Very, very creepy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym Battle 4 in the Shield version against Gym Leader Alistair. Let's get this. He's got himself four Pokemon right here, and he's going to be starting off with Galarian Yamask. So let's go with Marcel. I think this is, I think this is a very, very good, uh, you know, what was it, a type advantage right here because... I guess guy Yamas right here is a ground type Pokemon as well. So here we go. Ice shards. Oh yeah, we're tap dancing. Oh yeah. Mountain chops and everything. And ooh. So now we're disabled. Oh crud. Okay. Man, you gotta love Marcel's uh <laughs> you gotta love his uh his his dance. So let's go right here and go with a Cybeam attempt. Hopefully that does it. And there you go. Yam Mask has been defeated. What now, buddy? What now? Okay. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Cursula. As I explained earlier in this episode, Cursula, the Hoenn Pokemon, has a Galarian version right here. And it is a Ghost and Water type Pokemon, which later evolves into a Cursula, which, of course, is it's a Ghost type Pokemon. Look at this guy right here. Holy crud. It is a spooky ass Pokemon right here, level 35. Let's go. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I, oh, crud. I accidentally pressed that button. And here's a curse attack. It kind of did us a favor right there. I kind of feel like it did us a favor. So it takes half its HP and it's putting a bad curse on us, which will kill us if, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't respond quickly right here. So let's go right ahead. Use a false surrender. Let's go. False surrender for the win. And there it goes, curse of Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and more levels are growing. Oh, yeah. Blitzkrieg growing another level, too. And here comes our curse. So now we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon. This is not looking good right now. So, yes, this Pokemon trainer, or, you know, Alice just coming out with Mimin Q. So let's go right ahead and switch him out for our good old buddy, Krakatoa. It's been a while since this guy had a Pokemon gym battle. Might as well, you know, shake off the rust right here. And, well, here comes uh, Mimikyu. If you, if you guys don't know who this Pokemon is, this is an Alolan Pokemon that, well, in one of the trials that you go through, this guy is a tough one. So let's go again with a Flame Charge, and here comes its Home Claws. Oh, Jesus, okay. Yeah, he's going to be a little difficult to actually uh, to take down right here. But here comes a Flame Charge, and that really didn't do much. Here's its Disguise, and that was a, de a decoy. And that right there is scary. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, Smackdown attack. Lay it the smack it down. And here comes baby, uh, baby doll eyes. And, well, our attack is going down just little by little. But here comes the smack it down on its candy ass. And it doesn't really do much. So here we're going to go. We're going to throw out everything. And, well, yeah. <laughs> He's really, really getting on my nerves right now. So right now, let's go with Incinerate. And that doesn't do much. So let's go again one more time. Incinerate, and here comes a Shadow Sneak. And not, well, doesn't really do much right there. So here we go. Incinerate. Nearly for the win. And let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a Flame Charge. But this guy is going with a Shadow Sneak yet again. Not doing a lot right now, man. Come on. You're not helping your cuz, and there it is. Flame charge for the win. What now? Oh, look at that. Look at that. And two of my Pokemon grow levels. Krakatoa is finally at level 40, while Drago grows to level 36. And here he comes out with a Gengar. Now, I got the Pokemon just for this guy. Let's go back to Marcel right here. Gengar, of course, is a ghost and poison type Pokemon, so I should have the advantage right here. And... Well, look at this guy dance. I love it when he dances. My very last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. Oh, damn. You know, when you say it like that, you kind of have, like, you kind of sound like you have evil intentions. I'm just saying. Okay. So, we're going to Dynamax. Let's do this. Max Hailstorm. Alrighty. Time to Digivolve this Pokemon into its gigantic form. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is how I found him. This is how I captured this guy. Bring it on. Captain Dance and Marcel. <laughs> okay. 
Bring it on, Alistair. And he's like, Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Oh, crap. <laughs> you see? You see what I mean? When you said it that way, you kind of said it with evil intention, and just like that... Ooh, damn! Gengar! And it's Gigantamax form. Holy crap. Look at that guy. He's just a black hole. And, well, I don't know why I used Max Hailstorm, but hopefully this does something to him. And it doesn't take him out just yet, but it changes the field in our advantage right here. Alrighty. And, uh-oh. G-Max Terror, it's like Shadow Tag. You won't get away. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And this guy's literally throwing... Oh, wow. Wow. It just... Oh, now we can't escape, and yes, you're getting hit, hit by hail. But this guy right here, let's go with a Max Mindstorm. Bring it on, Max Mindstorm. Finish him. And there we go. We got ourselves another victory. <laughs> oh, my God. And the battlefield just got weird, but guess what? We destroyed this big old ball of... I don't even know what to call it. It kind of looks like the lion or now the tiger from Aladdin. You know, that Cave of Wonders thing. Alrighty. So there we go. Back to its original form. Tap dancing Marcel. Kicking butt, taking names, and we defeated Alistair Black. Oh my god. I nearly lost my mask from this shock. That was how. I can see your skill for what it was. Oh damn. Yeah, this guy, this guy is scary. Look at this guy. Holy crush! Okay. Crows. That was Ace. Here. A ghost bitch. This guy scares the crap out of me. He really does. And we're shaking hands. And of course his hands are cold. Like a so. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves the ghost badge in shield version. And of course, we are now enabled to actually capture Pokemon up to level 40. G good luck. With, um... Everything. Scary mother you know what. So after defeating Alistair, we actually get ourselves the TM77 Hex, which is a very good move to actually bring down the PP of your Pokemon's, uh, or actually, no, wait, I, I got that wrong. This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. Huh, well, never mind. A complimentary ghost type uh, uniform, and look at that, we got ourselves a uniform, pretty cool. The ghost badge suits you. You're right on task, uh, tra task, or you're right on task, or I don't even know how to say it. Anywho, that is pretty much it right there, guys. This is, uh, this is actually something new that I'm trying, and I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it. I know it's been a long episode, but hey, you know, I came through with the promise. Sorry, it took me quite a while to come out with this. I, it, you know, I had to, you know, follow through with everything that I'm doing right here in Shield version, like I was doing in Sword version. But trust me, guys, it's going to get even better along the way. What's going to happen now is that I will be having two separate teams. They will be changing every single time, but it will be fun, and it will be, you know, like, a, they, they, they will both be cohesive and all that stuff. But, you know, later on in my channel, I will be showing you guys, wait, like, who who is your favorite team, the Sword or Shield version team? I really don't know, but... Thank you guys again for watching. It has been fun. In the next episode, we are getting the F out of here. So, see you guys.